Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Panzer6, and welcome to Let's Talk. And if you guys don't know what Let's Talk is, it's is basically a series where I talk about things that are very interesting to me, or things that are going on in my current life. Um, in which this case, this is not really about me. This is about YouTube, as well as just people in general. Now, I put one out earlier this week already, but some I, I'm starting to realize that people seem to like these a little bit better than just the game feed and stuff like that. So I want to keep it a little bit varied, but let's go ahead and not talk about that, and let's go ahead and talk about YouTube. So if you guys have noticed, um, just the last couple of months, um, YouTube has been having a lot of drama, and um, there's been a lot of videos. Um, you know, stuff with Leafy is here, A3A3 A3, um, Productions, uh, Keemstar, um, just a lot of different YouTubers have been facing all kinds of problems. And, you know, it, it, it has been really, really sad to see that, uh, especially on a level. Now, I, I, I'm a small YouTube channel. I'm really small. And um, maybe my words are not going to really uh, mean a thing. But... Um, whenever I do YouTube videos, I don't do it for money because, hey, I'm not getting money from this, even though I monetize or stuff like that and use analytics to advertise. And, um, yeah, it would help me out. But, um, <laughs> you know, I, I'm not too worried about it because it's something I love to do. Um, and it's just really sad to see some of these bigger YouTubers, which I followed for years, um, just getting all this stuff like is happening to them. Now, the the most the big thing right now is a problem with H three H three Productions are getting sued by another YouTuber for basically using some of their footage, uh, which should have been as in fair use, but. You know, YouTube has a really fucked up system. It's broken, and it basically favors, um, you know, bigger, uh, bigger labels and like <laughs> stuff like that. Which I don't know much about the people with suing A3 A3 Productions, but I know that it's a bad deal, especially in terms of fair use. Which you know, YouTube is just turned into, you can't use anything without somebody trying to fuck you over with copyright strikes. And, I, you know, I've had a few of them on my own. Um, if you go back and you take a look at the one where I did a <laughs> parody version of, uh, what was it? Ah, <laughs> uh, shoot. I, I can't even think what it's called. Flirting with Disaster. Yeah, Molly Hatchet. Um... I did a did a video for that, and yes, I had the music. And in the subscription, I said this music was by Molly Hatchet. The words were made by me, which it was all fucking gibberish. And I posted up there and monetized, which you know I probably shouldn't have monetized it. And um, no, actually, no, it wasn't monetized at all. Take the back, it wasn't monetized. Um, but still, I think it was Sony. Um, they copyright strike and it was banned in 80 countries and I don't understand why but you know I plainly put music by Molly Hatchet um, and if you go back and listen to that you'll see that you know I just it was all gibberish but I don't know if they caught it kind of sounded like Molly Hatchet I mean if you ever listen to that song um, but <laughs> it it's a lot of shit like that, and especially it's been hurting gamers as well, especially if they do YouTube channels. You can't use, some companies are trying to take, you know, content like, you know, Activision, Konami, Nintendo, um, Ubisoft used to, EA used to, they used to, like, attack, you know, these gamers, smaller YouTuber ch YouTube channels, um, and just, you know, you can't use that. You got to pay us in order to show that off. Um, which I, a lot of it's calmed down, except for Nintendo and Konami, which I won't. I won't be playing Nintendo games on this channel, obviously, unless they relax on it. But you know, it, it's sad to see that you can't use. You know, there's no such thing as fair use anymore, and it's sad to see that you know a big, a bigger channel is getting sued. That 
costs a lot of money, um, you know, to, to go through the court system, uh, get lawyers, pay those fees. That's going to cost them a lot of money um, just because of this. And I'm hoping, hoping what would happen is there's some kind of settlement. Maybe the court will, you know, side with A3, A3 Productions, which one of the cool things about this, though, is uh, Philip DeFranco, if you guys haven't heard of him, you guys should check him out. He does uh, daily news shows, uh, vlogs, which they're really good, really good. I, I've been following him for years. And um, he started a GoFundMe account to help pay for this. And you have, I've not seen this before, like, forever. I have not seen a collective of just awesome people that really care about YouTube and their, their jobs to help another YouTuber out. Even if there have big differences, like, you know, Leafy is here, uh, helped out H3H3 H3 Productions. If you remember a while back, they've had a little, you know, problems, but it just goes to show the YouTube community as a whole is like one big fucked up family. Um, and you know, some of these YouTubers, like, they do like to fuck other people over. Uh, but a lot of it's the fair use stuff is just garbage. And, you know, I know, I know you, and <laughs> if you guys watch my stuff, you know I stutter and go off topic quite a bit. But that's usually just, I just want to give you guys the real me instead of the uh, <laughs> cut into pieces me. But, um, yeah, the fair use thing, it's just really aggravating. And, you know, I really hope that H3H3 H3 Productions, you know, wins this case because, A, that should show um, that, sh that would be big step for YouTubers as a whole. Um, and if we let this little, you know, asshole win against H3H3 H3 Productions, which it all pretty much go goes down to the courts. If H3H3 H3 Productions loses this, that's going to bankrupt them. I mean, yeah, the money from the GoFundMe account, that's awesome. Um, I myself have not been able to contribute just to my financial situation, but if you guys want to check that out, um, I'll leave the link down below in the um, <coughs> description below. That way you guys can go check it out. And at least be a way to share. So uh, the best way of advertising is word of mouth. It's always been that way. So hopefully, you know, the seven or eight people that may watch this video or if some odd reason this gets higher than that, um, yeah, that'd be awesome. I just want to make sure that this, you know, these are YouTubers like us as a collective are taken care of, not fucked over, and... Um, yeah, because there's some really passionate people out there, just nice, nice people. Um, like, you you hear these stories of these YouTubers that started out, you know, broke as shit, um, like me, <laughs> going through all kinds of problems, and they decided, hey, let me get a camera, um, let me put myself in front of a computer and just talk. Let me sh give myself out to the whole world to see me, uh, see my opinion, see my personality, see um, the talents that I may or may not have. And it's really great. It's really great. It, it's much harder now than, say, maybe 10 years ago. But 10 years ago was still hard because let's just, let's go, let's put, put a perspective here. There's 7 billion people on the earth, and you're one of them. And maybe three billion use YouTube on a regular basis. So you're one of three billion people that are producing videos. Now I'm not saying that three billion people produce videos, but maybe millions of people produce videos. So the chance of you getting, you know, noticed is slim to almost none. But but it's really cool though is the people that do watch your channel, um, they actually care about what you want to see. And I and I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. You know, if I get one subscriber 
or 15 people watch my video and one person likes that video, that makes me happy because A, that just means somebody cares to take their time out of their day and check to see what this fat neck, neck beard has to say about gaming or anything like that. But, you know, if you're, if you're a smaller YouTube channel or even a bigger YouTube channel and you come across this, you just got to remember, um, we got to take care of each other. We can't let you know, things slip through the crack where people just want to make other people miserable because that's all over the internet. That's not just the internet, just worldwide. We live in a world right now where people think it's okay to like beat a mentally handicapped man, well, boy, uh, in a school and stick a coat hanger up his ass. Now, that did happen. Um, <laughs> I just found out about that today. I was um, watching Philip DeFranco. And I found out about that. We, we live in a world where, you know, <laughs> we hate people. We, we think everything's sexist. Everything is really, you know, everybody's offended over every small thing. Uh, we don't want to see other people happy. But for the few people, the one or two percent or whatever does that wants to see everybody getting along uh, being happy and doesn't care too much about that, but loves, you know, I'm perfectly fine. I, I'd love to see, you know, equality, um, everybody getting along. That, that'd be great. That'd be great. But we don't live in that kind of world. We live in a world where, you know, people like to shit on each other. It's, it's, it's sad. It's just humanity as a whole. But the, the, the things like when you see good things happen, just like, all the GoFundMe account for H3, H3 Productions. And I, you know, every time I say that, my tongue gets tight. Um, it just goes to show that there are people out there that, you know, care. Uh, they literally care. And there's, there's tons of nice people on this planet. There are. But, you know, media outlets, they make, you know, they only put out the things that are bad. Um, you know, we're too busy on this planet trying to keep up with the Kardashians to pay attention to a man, a uh, cop of all things, giving a boy his Pokemon collection after it got stolen. You know, a, you know, a cop who had these old cards, old collector's Pokemon cards, gave his own personal collection to a boy because his got stolen. We don't want to see that. All we care about is the Kardashians. You know, you're sexist because you hate the Ghostbusters trailer. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it, it's really weird, but that's just kind of how we are as a collective. And I use that word a lot, um, we as a collective, because humanity as a whole is a collective. Um you know, we can cut it up in different pieces, but we're all humans. We're all capable of the same things. And, you know, if somebody just takes their time the day, out of their day and they see somebody that's getting bullied and they help that person or, you know, help a lady across the street, you know, say hi, hello, thank you, um, smile. That would do so great for many people. I mean, you know, whenever I, somebody comes to me, if I'm having a bad day, like let's go ahead and take for instance, to, I've been having terrible, terrible time in my life right now. Um, you know, I'm losing things, uh, but it's not all terrible. It's not all terrible. I want to go ahead and get that out of the way. Um, there's a lot of good things in my life. It's just mainly... You know, I'm dealing with the depression, the anxiety, my shoulder, the financial situation. Um, the, my kitten died, which was devastating because um, I love that cat. And last, you know, earlier this week, you would have saw that video that I posted about that. Um, and I'm a softie. I'm a huge softie because, you know, I hate to see somebody go without, you know, somebody that's hurt, somebody that's crying. Um, I would give the shirt, my big ass shirt, you know, take it off and give it to somebody that needed it. And I would rather go without. Yeah, it's going to suck. I'm going to feel terrible. 
uh, in a process, but to see the other person that needs that, that's going to make me a whole lot happier. Now today, um, you know, at work, um, I have a friend, uh, he's a preacher. And if you know, back to a few, a couple months ago, um, you know, I finally started going to church again. And after 10 years of being an atheist, I decided, you know, I need to do something different with my life. So, you know, I ended up getting saved. And today, you know, out of the blue, I see, you know, the, my preacher and his wife. And they came up to me because they've been, you know, checking out. Because, like I said, I've been in a bad place, um, especially in the last few this week. And um, so they came up to me. And first thing he said, he's like, you know, he asked me how I was doing and I told him, you know, I'm doing terrible. And he said, I'm going to, this might be awkward, but I'm going to pray with you right now. So, you know, we prayed and I felt really good. I felt really good. Um, you know, I felt good, better about the cat. And <laughs> I, I, like I said, I, the cat, like that cat dying literally pushed me over to the edge because I was talking to my friends about it the other night, my mom, which is her birthday today, which happy birthday, mom. I love you. Um, <laughs> and you know, it broke me and my fiance's heart because <laughs> I, I'm somebody, I want to have kids so bad. Like I love kids and I want my own. And I guess I kind of, we kind of took, took it in as our own. Like we wanted to take care of these kids. We nurtured them and tried our best to take care of them because the cat had four kittens, which two died immediately. And, uh, we named the two that survived, um, uh, the black one's named Rolly, the white one was named Polly. And there was two as cute and she just kind of died, <laughs> which is really sad. Mm, uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but I cried a lot. I cried a lot. I cried uh, really bad about it. I still, you know, I'm still pretty sad about it. But, um, I just kind of, I wish you man, you know, like people just would do better. You know, it'd be nice to see, you know, good things happening all the time. And I'm not saying like, like I said, I'm not saying everybody's bad, but that's all we ever see anymore. We don't see the good side of people and the few stories that get out if just the few that do are awesome because it just goes to show that you know not all people are bad and terrible and want to see you just suffer <laughs> but guys thank you so much for checking this out it's about 18 minutes long of me just rambling about um you know all this fair use stuff and humanity as a whole uh, i definitely appreciate um all the support so far and as always, be sure to hit like and subscribe. And if you want to help me out with the bits and pieces thing, uh, you can check it out at GoFundMe.com forward slash bits and pieces. And also, if you go on Kickstarter and you look for bits and pieces, or if you go and check on the description below, I'll leave two links. Like I said, you do not have to uh, donate me anything. If you do, thank you so much. God bless. Um, if you don't believe in God, then that's cool too. Whatever you believe in. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, if you wouldn't, if you wouldn't care to just share this page, share this, help this get some kind of recognition because it's something I really, really could use in my life. I want it to, you know, get big. I want to be able to make um, the YouTube channel is a Twitch channel, and this business I want it to kick off that way. In the process of making this all work, we can help people that suffer from, you know, neglect and the uh, depression and anxiety and whatever because that's the ultimate goal of the bits and pieces thing is to help people you know yeah it's going to help me uh financially be financially stable and you know have a business of my own but the business is going to be dedicated to gamers and people that have problems that need help that's the best thing in the world and like i said if you know somebody that's having problems in their life right now Say they lost their job, say they lost their girlfriend, somebody died in their family, a pet died. The best thing to do is definitely, definitely take care of that person. Talk to that person, help them out, smile, pray, you know, whatever. Just make sure that person gets, you know, the best care and best treatment as possible. Again, I love you guys. 
Sorry for keeping you for 20 minutes. Oh, my God. Um, I'll keep all that stuff and the, uh, the description below. No, next time my tongue might not be tied up. But, again, game on, have fun, and do nice things. <laughs> Bye, guys.